Hey y'all, welcome to Production Den. My name is Jeremy. Today we're gonna to be talking about removing background noise from vocal recordings. I don't know about you, but I work in a really small room where I record my vocals and do all of my music production. So I don't exactly have the best of acoustic treatment all the way around the room. And sometimes I have a little bit of unwanted noise from things like my air turning on in my house, so the HVAC and the vents in the room, as well as computer noise that might leak into the actual recordings that I'm making. So today I was working on a vocal mix for an album project that I'm trying to get wrapped up. And I ran into the situation where one of the takes that I had had a little bit of background noise on it and I needed to figure out how to get that removed. So I'm gonna show you guys in FL Studio the process that I walked through, the things that didn't work and then the thing that actually did work really well for me. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let me take you in to show you where I found the problem, the first couple of things that I tried that actually didn't work extremely well, and then what I ended up doing to actually solve the issue for this particular section of the song. So I'm gonna show you just a small section of the bridge that we're working with, and then I'll isolate down to show you the noise that I was hearing on this vocal. So here's a small section of it really quickly. So a pretty quiet part that was going on. And now if we actually zoom in here, you'll hear the noise that I'm talking about if I isolate this a little bit more. So I'm gonna just do this small little section of in between some of the phrases that were being sung and you can hear the actual noise that's going on. I know that's pretty low, but it'll give you the idea that there's, there's a decent amount of background noise and that was being caused by the HVAC system my air had turned on in the room when I was making the recording and I got picked up in the microphone. So the first thing that I actually tried to do was to go in here and actually manually just pull down those sections in between the phrases. So I created a volume envelope and I'll show you what I did or how I did that exactly. So if you need to do that, you come up here and you right click on the vocal that you're working with and you come down to automate and then volume. And when you do that, it's going to bring up this volume automation curve. And then you just go through and you add points by right clicking on it. And then you can change the shape of the curve. So I added in a couple extra points in between these sections where things were being sung and I pulled those down to try to get rid of the volume in those sections. And that did a decent job, but there, you could still hear a little bit of the noise at the, the tail end of the phrases. Can get you through this. And it cuts out in between, but right at the tail end of that phrase, it's still pretty noticeable. So the next thing that I did to try to deal with the noise, so I pulled up the mixer, and the thing that I tried to do was to bring in a limiter and use it as a noise gate. I chose this preset here that's called noise gate and then I adjusted the threshold to where there wasn't any more noise that was present or coming through. Only love can get you through this. But still at the small like tail end of the phrases you can still hear a little bit of the noise. So what I ended up doing instead was to come back to this vocal and I left clicked on it and I said, I want to actually edit this sample. And what that does is bring up the entire vocal into Edison. And then what I ended up doing was zooming into that portion where the noise was at. So in between these phrases. And I grabbed a little section of that noise. So I came over here, used the wrench icon and went down to the section called spectral and then I use this tool called Acquire the Noise Profile. So what that does is grab a hold of the sound of the noise in that small section, and then it is going to compare that against the rest of the audio file when I try to clean up the noise. So I deselect that small little section of the profile that I just acquired, and then I'll come back to this tool, and I say clean up the noise or denoise at this time. So then what that's gonna do is take that small little noise profile that I gave it, and it's going to run that across the entire audio file and pull out anything that sounds like that same profile of noise. So to run this, I just go ahead and I say accept. You'll see the watch icon goes. It's pretty subtle, but what you'll see is the in-between parts of those phrases that were sung, the actual amplitude of that has gone down significantly. 
And so then what I would do is I come over here, left click on the save icon, and then I say save this sample as. And then I would come in and I would name it based on whatever the file was and then update the name. So I, I added a, a number onto the end of it. The original one was called Painting the Garden Bridge Lead Vox. And so I tagged it with a Lead Vox underscore two or a Lead Vox underscore three. And you go ahead and save that where you want to. And then X out of Edison. And what you'll notice is it puts Edison onto the master track. So just make sure that you come over to the master track and delete that off of the master track after you get done editing the vocal. And then I come back out here to the playlist and I click on the sample that I want to replace with the new one that I just cleaned up. And I go back and I press F6 to bring up the channel rack. I bring up this particular vocal that it's highlighted. And then I come up here to the folder icon and I navigate down to that place where I saved that edited vocal file. And I bring that in and what you'll see is that the in-between states have gone down. So let me go back and put the old one in and you can see the noise is in between there. It's a little bit higher at that point. But then when I come back in here, and put in the new one, you see that that's going down pretty significantly. And so now when I come back here into this section, I've replaced that file. So now in between those phrases, you won't hear as much noise. Only love can get you through this. So you can see that that's pretty significantly different than what was there before. So if you have a small section where you need to just get rid of a little bit of the background noise, that is a way that you can go about doing that. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you guys to be able to see a couple different ways to try to deal with background noise and vocal recordings. If you have any tips or tricks that you've learned along the way with dealing with or removing background noise from your vocal recordings, I'd love for you to share those in the comment section below. I'm thinking about doing a small little series on vocal production and covering the things that I'm learning about EQ and compression and creative effects in dealing with trying to produce a more polished sound for your vocals. If that's something that you would be interested in, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next round.